There are two parking options. For one or two days booking, I recommend taking the valet unless you are extremely lightweight on luggage. If you may need Uber or Lyft during your stay, the rideshare stop is just a few steps away from the bell desk. My reservation was on a standard resort room with two queen beds and the room I was assigned to was located at Terrace Court which is located all the way in the back of the site. Terrace Court looked a bit outdated to me. I'm sure some people enjoy coming to see the historical part of the hotel. I personally prefer to be placed in a building that has more updates in the recent renovation project. The room I was first assigned to was 4328. It was at the corner of the building and it was a bit dark even though it was in the middle of the day. My stay was for my wife's birthday, so I really hoped I could do a little bit better. I was trying to at least move to a room with a better view instead of facing that dumpster. I went back down to the front desk and checked if there might be upgrade options with good rates at the time. The lady at the front desk was very helpful. It took a few minutes for her to get back to me, but she was able to do a complimentary upgrade and put me into a room by the pool sign. The new room I moved to was in the Paradise Wing. There are seven pools including few small pools close to each building. There is a large pool in the middle of the properties for adults only. I have a 10 years old with me. A room in the Paradise Wing put us much closer to the big water slide they put in during their renovation project. This new room was a lot closer to what I was expecting from a Waldorf Astoria brand. The previous room was clean and quiet, but having my daughter be able to just walk out the patio and jump into the pool was a complete different experience. The room I got upgraded to was at a much higher rate than my original reservation was. We're going to take a look at the cost in just a little bit. Before we forget, we should take a look at the bathroom. There's no bathtub on this unit, but there's a separate door for the toilet. So it is more efficient for families to share if you're in a hurry. If you are reward points travelers, you may be interested in some numbers. The poolside room is actually two level ups from our original bookings. I picked rates from a different date to share an example because I couldn't find all the room types on the date I was traveling. If you're a Diamond member, you're looking for free upgrade to the poolside room. 
I think you may have a better chance if you book something one level down to begin with. If you are planning to book with points, you will need about 80,000 points for a standard room. On top of that, if you are paying with points, your resort fee is waived. Before you do your booking, also double check with the Hilton Honors members page and make sure you take advantage with all the promotions. And other things to watch for is to see if it makes sense for the cost to take advantage of the 2x bonus point package. Here is a quick summary of the points I earned during my stay. For all those diamond members, you will also be getting $25 dining credits per day. If you are a American Express Hilton Aspire card holders, booking on this hotel will also be eligible for the $250 Hilton hotel credits. Since I was only staying for one night, I won't be getting the $100 on property credit. But if you are planning to stay longer, make sure you take advantage of that too. With credit card and hotel status benefits, I've got some credits back. Some of my friends actually thought my trip was almost free. But I want to point out that you will never save money by charging your credit card. The $600 that came out from my bank was permanently gone. Reward points and hotel status benefits are just a way to get more values on your spend. The numbers basically said as I was spending $600, I was enjoying about a thousand two hundred in values. Each of us have a different ways to interpret the numbers, but I do hope some of the details here are useful for your traveling. And that's all I have to share for now. If you find my videos helpful and have already given me a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. I hope you will have a wonderful time at the Arizona Biltmore on your stay. See you next time.